Hello everybody, um, this is basically an introductory video on how to mod Elden Ring. A lot of the things that I'll be saying in this video will apply to Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 1 as well. Dark Souls 2 is kind of the black sheep when it comes to these games, so I'm not positive it'll work. Um, there's, for now I'm just going to show you two or three important tools that you need. So there's mod engine two, and there's map studio. Let's just start with these. So mod engine two is a tool that lets you mod Elden Ring without modifying the actual game files. You don't want to modify the game files because it's a pain in the ass to uninstall and reinstall the game if you break anything. You want to be careful with this. I recommend backing up these game files just in case. Um, and you can also back up your save files, which you find under app data. Usually your save files under your whatever your main disk is, users, your name, and then app data. And you go to roaming, Elden Ring. There's your save files. Uh, just double checking. Yeah. So roaming, Elden Ring. These are all your save, save files, and there's your graphics configurations. That's how it remembers how you like your video settings. Anyways, it's important to back that up, even if we're not messing with the actual game files. And this is the mod engine folder. When you download mod engine, which I'll show you real quick, you can get mod engine here. It'll say mod engine 2 for Elden Ring. Thank you, Catalash, for making this. And you click on assets. GitHub can be a little confusing for non code, non programmers to navigate so just so you know it's usually under assets and you click the zip file not the source code just this and you'll get the zip file extract it and it literally does not matter where you put this file um, well I guess to some extent it does you should put it on the same drive um, and um, by default, it's going to have three important things. This folder that says mod, configuration underscore Elden Ring, which is a TOML file. You can open it with notepad. And launch mod underscore Elden Ring, which is a batch file. Might also say .bat. There's a readme which shows you the basics of how to use this. So by default, the mod folder is going to be mod. And the configuration file is going to have mod engine look for the mod in the mod folder right here. Just to show you what you can do, you can make a new folder. You can name it whatever you want. And you just copy the name of that folder and you put it in here. You press File, Save. That's all you gotta do. So now, anytime you press launch mod underscore Elden Ring, it's going to launch the mods inside the folder you just made. So, let's do a little something. Let's uh, close these and we're gonna launch Elden Ring through that mod, mod engine folder you just downloaded. And you can ignore this, smart screen thinks everything's a virus. All right, so we have Elden Ring launched. And 
which is going to continue on whatever save file we want to use. I recommend using a save file that you don't care about when it comes to modding. And let's do this, for example. Let's go here. And we're going to, just as a, just for your first mod, we're going to make the attack damage of barehanded fists a lot more powerful. You'll notice I can only do three damage at a time. That's kind of pathetic. So what we're going to do, you don't need to close the game. We're just going to run back here and save. That way we're quote unquote paused. And I'll show you what we can do. We're going to use the other tool that I just mentioned called Map Studio. I'll include a link for that in the description as well. Um, but Map Studio is basically a tool that lets you edit the parameters and regulations files inside Elder Ring. It works for a lot of FromSoft games. Actually, it looks like it works for all of them. Um, so download it on the right here where it says releases. And after you've done that, we're going to go to Map Studio. And actually, I have a shortcut down here. We're going to launch this. So, the first thing you want to do before you get overwhelmed here is go to File, New Project. And I already made a project. Actually, I haven't. So, let's do that now. Uh, we're going to name it the same thing as a mod folder. Go to Project Directory here. And we're going to tell it to look at stuff inside this mod engine folder we just made. And we're going to find the game executable, which is right here. And load default road names. Next, don't even worry about this right now. We're going to go to up here and click Param Editor. And this isn't a tutorial on how to use this. This is just showcasing what you can do. This is a very introductory video. So bear with me if you get a little overwhelmed. Um, but I'm going to go to Equip Parameters Weapon. Go to Unarmed. And you'll see right here is a bunch of rows. These are called rows. These are called parameters. At least that's what most people call them. And these are called fields on the right. I'm going to click the unarmed row. I'm going to go to attack base physics and type 500. Press enter. And you'll notice it turns green when something's changed. And a nice touch is that it saves the original numbers on the right hand side. I'm going to click File, Save Params, Game, Hot Load, Hot Reload Params, and Current Parameter. Now it looks like nothing happened, but it just basically hot reloaded all the parameters they changed. So now, if I attack this guy, it should be 500 damage. Hmm, I might not have done that right. Hold on. Let's just rest here, go back to Map Studio, unarmed. Uh. 
Uh, should be in the right file. Let me make sure I'm editing the right file. Downloads. Mod Engine. Yep, it's right there. Let's try... And a big part of this is playing around with this. So we can do something else. Let's try... Uh, let's see. You can use the search bar up here. Let's try checking these. Tap base physics. Let's try, maybe it's too high of a number. Let's try something a little lower. Save all. Game hot load parameters, all parameters. So the game crashed, that's bound to happen, but no big deal, just go to the same thing, and go to launch mod Elden Ring. So I actually had to go to Map Studio and download the newest version. It looks like it was crashing um, due to some bugs with the new release. So, no big deal. Um, the one I'm using is 1.02.4. We're gonna launch that one instead. And we're gonna go back to downloads and we're gonna launch Ultimate with those parameters that we saved. They should still be saved where it does 500 damage with the unarmed weapon. Alright, so we're back in Elden Ring. You'll notice one other thing I forgot to mention is when you launch with the .bat file with mod engine, you'll notice it says inappropriate activity detected unable to start in online mode. That's fine. Don't worry about that. It's not like FromSoft's gonna ban you. As long as you don't go online with these mods, you'll be fine. And mod engine automatically disables easy anti cheat. Okay, doing a lot better. So, after we've edited all that, you'll notice when I attack this guy, watch this. Oh! 200 damage. And you might be wondering, well, how come it's not 500 damage? Well, that's just because of this enemy's armor, probably certain special effects, along with other things. But now you can kill people with your bare hands. So that's a very, very basic mod you can do. There's a lot of other things you can change when it comes to Map Studio. But... Right now, I'm just showcasing you everything you can do. So, let's open that project back up. Uh, it's the JSON file, just so you know, your project file. Click on that. And there's a lot of parameters you can edit. You can also, we'll get into this later, but you can change the text. Like the name of enemies or armor, name of weapons, miscellaneous messages, everything else. You can edit models, you can change maps. Let's uh, load this for example. And this is the Angel River, or however you might say it, I'm not really sure. Uh, and you can mess around with this and change this. 
Um, so this is a pretty powerful tool and this is basically your introduction into modding. I'm going to make more videos when it comes to how to use Map Studio along with other tools that you might be interested in. But the most important part that you should learn today is the things that control certain game features are called parameters and you can change that with Map Studio. And you should really, really, really use Mod Engine to launch all of your mods. You might have heard of another alternative called Yapper or not Yapper, Yapped instead of Map Studio. I still highly recommend Map Studio. It's a lot easier to use. It's Corrects everything, sometimes the app can miss some of the fields and skip past some stuff. So I just recommend using this. Plus everybody in the server seems to understand this a bit better. So hopefully this encourages you to mess around with the game a bit. I highly, highly recommend just spending some time in Map Studio and just playing around with what you can do. Um, you'll find that it's not that hard and not that overwhelming or intimidating to mod the game. A lot of these parameters kind of speak for themselves when it comes to their name. And I just recommend messing around with this stuff and seeing what you can do. So I'll see you guys soon.